you have a very full agenda today. Let's get started. Justice Thomas, take your seat, please. Ah, uh, hey, sure. Just call me Clarence. Just making sure everybody had a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> just want to make sure everyone's happy. You know me, nothing wrong with kissing a little butt. <laughs> Thank you, Justice. Okay, our first case is the state of Washington versus Kareem Johnson. Discrimination. Nay. Nay? Uh, double nay. Don't you even want to discuss the case, Justice Thomas? Oh, come on. The guy's a whiner. You let one black guy complain about discrimination, and the next thing you know, you have the <laughs> state of Washington versus cool in the gang. <laughs> let him get a job the old-fashioned way. Let him earn it. Uh, you want another brand muffin? I could use some more coffee, Clarence. Sure thing. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the case of Springfield Police Department versus Hector Rodriguez Gonzalez. Justice Thomas. Uh, I mean, uh... Well, uh, how are uh, the rest of you guys going to vote? I'm voting for the police department. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, the police department. I mean, come on. They fired four warning shots. Unfortunately, three of them hit the guy. But hey, <laughs> if you're going to jaywalk in front of Winchell's, don't come crying to us. I say uh, whatever the rest of you guys say. Questions, Thomas. I realize this is your first day, but you've got to relax. Take it easy. You're going to be here for the rest of your life. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Um, I have this job for the rest of my life. <laughs> You're just like Daryl Gates. They can't get rid of you. So, so, so. <laughs> so let me get this straight. No matter what I do, no matter who I piss off, I'm here to stay. More or less, yes. Oh, man. Thomas! I'd love a refill on my coffee. Yo, man, you better get out of my face. <laughs> this ain't no damn Dennis. Get it yourself. Excuse me, baby. Now, let's get back to this case involving my main man, Rodriguez. Now, this is clearly a case of police brutality. Five minutes ago, you were against him. Yeah, well, five minutes ago, I was a black judge appointed by Bobo, the white president. But what are you now? I'm your darkest nightmare. A black judge with a powerful hung jury. <laughs> oh, call me Mr. Thomas. This is a complete outrage. Bring your military and go. You have betrayed everyone who worked to put you on this court. Look here, man. I don't know what you said, but I am awfully sorry. I guess you thought you knew Clarence Thomas. I bet you're all sitting here right now saying to yourselves, who's the black Supreme Court judge who's a rights machine for the brothers? Thomas! Where's Thomas? Thomas. <laughs> they say this cat Thomas is a bad mother. Shut your mouth! Well, I'm just talking about Clarence! He's a complicated man and nobody understands him but his woman. Court of Now, see him! Hey, 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 hey,
¡Ay, Dios mío! ¡Thief! ¡Stop! ¡Dos men! ¡They stole my fruit! If only a rocketeer were here to save me. He is the law and order from the south of the border. He is a grande, spectacular, muchacho rocketeer. Come in the summer procedures everywhere. And look for your El Muchacho Rocketeer glasses and mugs at your participating Taco Bell and Girl Taco. something, Missy. You are drag racing with a loaded gun. And I'm going to call your parents and tell them what you're up to. Mr. McAfee, I don't even want these. Yeah, I'm not fooled. I was young once, too. I know what it's like to be a steaming cauldron of lust. <laughs> want me? Burning for it. Lying at bed at night, those cold sheets rubbing against your soft, hot, prepubescent flesh. You're sick! <laughs> Just a one-woman welcome wagon for the incoming freshman. What's this? Why don't you take a hike, you little trollop? Now, how many times have I told you about fraternizing between classes, Hardison? What the hell is this? Jeez, Mr. McAfee, those are crib notes for my math class. Yeah, I'll be the judge of this. The uh, input of the square root into y, the angle of the hypotenuse is equal to... Why, this is smart, mister. Now, I'll never figure out that problem. Yeah, well, this is the kind of problem you should be trying to figure out on your wedding night. Four eyes. You want everything. Yeah, well, maybe I better give you Mr. McAfee's yes. speech on promiscuity. When you think with your crotch, you're going to end up crotchety. I just remember that one of those nights when you got a party in your pants. Get out of here. Now, this is what I like to see. A couple young, spirited bucks getting ready to play one of your boyish pranks. Young bucks, my middle name, Mr. McAfee. Oh, I know what you're doing. Heck, I used to love to do a little bit of that myself when I was a lad. You're gonna fill them up with water, take them on the roof, throw them off, huh, boys? Where we was going to the roof. <laughs> take as many as you like. Go ahead, boys. Have a good time. Oh, you're kind of firm. You've been working out, son? Thank you, Mr. McAfee. Bye-bye now. Uh, oh, stop right there, princess. Back off, McAfee. You know, the combination of L. Macalicious McAfee and fine American latex can be quite intoxicating. <laughs> what do you say we take a couple of these babies out and see what they can do? Kind of push the envelope. You know, I got a bottle of baby oil in my locker. I wouldn't be in the room with you and one of those things if I could watch you pull it over your big head and suffocate. <laughs> What's this, huh, baby? The old bum hip. Well, let me tell you something. When a man loses the use of one of his appendages, all the others work that much harder. You know, they used to call me lizard tongue. You didn't know that, did you? Oh, she wants me. Excuse me, young lady, what seems to be the problem? Don't you want any prophylactics, honey? Gee, Mr. McAfee, I don't really have any use for them. Yeah, I understand. I guess you just aren't having much luck with the boys, huh, honey? Well, I tell you what, there's your problem, little lady. You're out of shape. A few hundred sit-ups in the morning will burn that beer belly right off. You know, I think it's time you heard Mr. McAfee's speech on courtship. Boys don't make passes at girls with fat asses. Now take a listen. Hey, 
Hey, McAfee, man, you know, I really dig what you're doing with this condom thing. Well, yeah. thanks, son. You got quite a hell of a grip there. Yeah, man, because, you know, a lot of teachers, man, they make us feel weird about this kind of stuff. But see, you cool, man. You down with the brothers. <laughs> thanks a lot, my boy. Yeah, I think when the kids need somebody to talk to, they know they can always turn to me. Al McAfee. Uh, all right, carry on, kids. <laughs> I'll never forget the first time I kissed a girl. It was in the back seat of my dad's old Impala. Yeah, man, making out in your old man's car. My dad had a Volkswagen. I couldn't do much of anything in the back seat of that thing. The first time I did it, I was in a little red Corvette with Sheena Easton and Vanity. Or was that Morris? What <laughs> out, man? The craziest thing I ever did was break up with my high school sweetheart. <laughs> Man, when it comes to women, we're always doing something crazy. I know what you mean. One time, I poured chocolate all over Sheila. And... Oh, is that Morris? <laughs> Butt out, man. <laughs> and you really want to turn a girl on? Put on some Luther Van Draw. Oh, man, that works with some girls. But the guy who really gets them going is Rick James. You're both wrong. Whenever I want a woman to get wild, all I have to do is... Prince. They're everything they're cracked up to be. Salima! Salima, your girl! I see you walking past my booth, Miss Thing. You better come on over here and get some Miss Benito's gumbo. Salima! Hey! I'm glad you could make it. We don't get to have too many carnivals here in the projects because they can't always get the metal detectors. But when they do, you know Miss Benita's gonna be here with my famous gumbo, honey, because everybody love my gumbo. Oh, look, there go Cleetha Watkins. She the one to organize the whole thing. Cleetha! Cleetha! Ooh, that girl's deaf as the day is long. <laughs> Amen, Bryce, is that girl on set five inside her head? <laughs> Cleetha! Cleetha! Ooh, girl, what's that I see in your finger? <laughs> Don't tell me Tyrone finally proposed to you. Oh, girl, I'm so happy for you now. It's your turn to wait in line at the Justice of Peace. <laughs> need to be waiting in line at the free clinic. <laughs> Damn Tramp had more men in her jeans than Calvin Klein. And I ain't want to gossip, so you ain't heard it from me. No, you have. Oh, look at it. It goes Luther. Luther Evans. Luther! Luther! You looking for your little Thelma? She's sitting right over there with the youth group all by herself. Yeah, that girl know better than mess with them trifling boys. <laughs> oh, like them boys know better than mess with her. <laughs> So ugly, her mama had to get drunk just to breastfeed her. <laughs> hair all patchy, hair all patchy, like some crow's been picking at it. And with that lazy eye, you can't tell if she's looking at your head or your feet. <laughs> and you let her keep eating them scooter pies. Already take the girl three days to reach around and scratch her own ass. <laughs> but I ain't want to gossip, so you ain't heard it from me. No, you haven't. Oh, look at, look at, there go, Loretta. Loretta!
more like it. <laughs> Ten for how many years her husband been in prison. Thirty-four for how old she says she is. Forty-three for how old she really is. And six, that's how many years that dumbass Tyrone been in the third grade. But I ain't want to gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Well, it looks like everybody's packing up to leave this carnival. You think this gumbo gonna keep overnight? Because you know I got the recipe from Mrs. Jenkins. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, oh Mrs. Jenkins. No, nobody better say nothing bad about Miss Jenkins, honey, because that's when Miss Benito go off. <laughs> Does me some, Miss Jenkins, honey. She's like a second mother to me. Mm-hmm. She said, Miss Benita. She said, this recipe has been passed down from my mother to me to you. I'm passing history. That ain't all she passed. <laughs> Women's gas so stinkles, peel the skin of a potato. <laughs> but I ain't wanna gossip, so you ain't heard it from me. You know you have? I guess I got to be going. Ladies and gentlemen, Shakespeare in the Park is proud to present Romeo and Juliet. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. <laughs> I hear more, or shall I speak at this? Hey! <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> what's all this racking about? Can a man use the bathroom in privacy? <laughs> you know, these leaves ain't too good for the skin. <laughs> got thorns in it. Just keep going, improvise, improvise. Uh, oh. It, hark, I see thou hast brought forth a friend. Hark, I see thou hast brought forth two friends. <laughs> if you bend any lower, I'm going to revert back to childhood. <laughs> Get off the stage. This is a play, you idiot. Oh, well, y'all, it look, because I just happen to be an actor. <laughs> yonder buttocks. <laughs> it is I, the aroma from Verona, or maybe those Vienna sausages I have. <laughs> Go away. My bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love is deep the more I give to thee. Well, I can't see your bounty from here. <laughs> but if it's anything like that cleavage, I'm in love. Juliet! I know not this man, nor do I understand of what he speaks. Oh, oh well, maybe I should speak more Shakespearean then. To pee or not to pee? <laughs> that is the question. Oops, there's the answer. <laughs> Get thee to a nunnery. Hamlet, 1613. Oh, well... Kiss my black ass. <laughs> Richard Pryor, 1978. That's it. This is balderdash. I just cannot work like this. I swear to God, I could just wrangle you. <laughs> I bet you prefer to choke my chicken. <laughs> shall be played by one, Anton Jackson. Excuse me, let me get in the costume. <laughs> Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me a dollar. <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, up here, Romeo. <laughs> oh, Juliet, Juliet, you are the queen of my heart, the flower of my garden. The booger in my eye. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, sir, this is one true you shall not tame. <laughs> Parting is such sweet sorrow. 
Yeah, you better part, bitch. <laughs> Tell them what to do. Tune in next week. Peace out, y'all.